hello friends how are you all this is laksha roda and welcome back to my channel so in this video i'm going to show you and teach you how you can deal with logic apps how you can work with logic apps using logic apps designer so before that let me give you a short uh, brief introduction what are logic apps so in azure you must be knowing that azure app service is it is basically a service from azure so this app service is divided into a number of uh, logic apps like we have mobile apps mo uh, web apps api apps logic apps so all these applications are part of the azure app service and logic app is one of the azure app service which is uh, provided as a pass offering platform as a service from azure okay so like uh, what is basically a logic app so logic app is basically you can say it is used to uh, uh, create a uh, desired workflow let's suppose if you want to perform some sentiment analysis sentiment analysis means like if there is any negative post on facebook or twitter then you can find out that post which is negative and you can forward that post to any database or if you want you can delete that post so this is one of the example and many other things we can do if you want to let's say send email alerts to our email id on the occurrence of a particular event then we can do that with the help of logic apps and another scenario can be let's suppose there is a uh, ticketing system and any new user was added any new user signed up to that system so we can design such a system which will send a welcome email to that user so all this can be possible uh, using logic apps so logic apps can be used to build powerful solutions and workflows okay so logic app has various connectors uh, enterprise connectors integration connectors api connectors what is the use of these connectors these connectors are basically used for the integration of your logic apps with third party applications you can integrate your logic apps with any sql server on premise sql server sharepoint server or any blob storage power bi microsoft dynamics 365 so you can integrate a logic apps with a variety of uh, applications after connectors we we have triggers so basically trigger is the first thing which i should say you should uh, learn so logic app is basically started with the help of a trigger trigger is the first part we have different types of triggers http based recurrence triggers storage queue triggers http based trigger means like uh, as soon as there will be a http request from a client your logic app will be triggered recurrence trigger means your logic app will be uh, triggered at a specified schedule you can define the schedule let's say in minutes days hours according to that storage queue trigger is also one of the trigger as i told logic apps is basically a pass offering platform as a service so all the underlying infrastructure managing hosting maintenance of your logic apps will be taken care by azure you don't need to worry about that and just like azure functions uh, it is based on consumption pricing model consumption pricing model means like on the basis of the number of uh, runs of your apps and like how many times you are running your logic apps that will decide the uh, entire cost triggers and actions i already told you and now comes connectors that i also told you managed api connectors on premises connectors integration and enterprise connectors these are the different connectors so let's get started let's first go to azure portal and create a logic app let's first create a new resource group logic rg because we don't have a resource group logic app is my logic app name location is my region like select the location region and east asia log analytics is off and i am clicking on review and create and now i will create this logic app let me pause the video so our resource is deployed let me go to the resource so logic app designer is being opened automatically as soon as you will uh, open the logic app your logic app designer will open it automatically let me open it from the starting let me show you it is my logic app it's lee yeah logic app designer is again being opened automatically so no worries 
we can start so these are the templates HTTP request outlook integration new tweet on uh, new tweet is posted file uploaded to FTP server so many different types of uh, triggers connectors are there we will start with a blank logic app so like these are the recent uh, connectors and triggers so let's say you can play around with this logic app as you want let me start with gmail when a new email arrives this is the trigger it means like i will show you authentication type sign in so i have signed in into my gmail account so actually this is the connector i have used gmail connector so this connector is working whenever there will be a new email in my email account this is a label inbox important start has attachments no how often do you want to check for items every three minutes if you check click on hours it will check every three hours to check if there is any new email in my email id we can add new parameters to from subject everything if i click on new step what is the operation it will do so i can do that uh, i can again click on gmail what it will do reply to email message id i can take it from this dynamic content message id i will add a new parameter uh, and body I will select subject I will select so as soon as there will be a new email there will be a reply to my new email ID subject me choose subject from here or I will type it only this is a test email from Lakshya ok we can add new parameter one more parameter ok that is enough we can add another steps if we want new step like schedule sql server we can integrate with sql server also we can integrate with azure devops also it will create a work item let me sign into my azure devops i have signed into my azure devops account this is my organization you can select your own organization you can select your projects it will show up all the projects work item type bug let's say we are creating a bug uh, demo bug item okay description of the work item demo description of the bug you can add all uh, you can add uh, these parameters also priority iteration path so if you know about azure devops and if you are into creating bugs and all that stuff you must be knowing bug priority is there iteration path is there area path is there tags when we create a bug we provide tags we provide repro steps all these things we provide so this is a short logic app just to show you demo save logic app failed I have actually removed that step it is showing somewhere it is not compatible with VSTS I will check on it and I will get back let me save this logic app and let me send an email 
okay let me run it from here only let me open my an another mailbox okay let me now send an email test mail test mail message sent to my email id let me run this trigger it will check in 3 minutes otherwise i need to wait 3 minutes logic app is triggered see i just got a reply this is a test email from lakshya test mail this is a subject let me open my another mailbox this is my another mailbox and i got email over there as well test email a test email your message wasn't delivered i think i but i got the email okay so what i did basically oh shit shit let me go to the designer so the workflow goes like this when a new email arrives whenever a new mail email arrives to this email id like this email id what logic app will do it will reply to that email also since i mentioned that to account actually there was some mistake in this uh, email address so what it, you need to understand the basic workflow only that is the main thing as soon as there will be a new email in this account it will send a reply back to this email account this is a test email from lakshya which i just showed you test email this is a test mail from lakshya okay let me change this uh, this test email from lakshya roda okay let me save this lakshya let me send an email to my email account this is my first email account x x x x y z email x y z email i have sent an email it will wait for 3 minutes but i am triggering it because we don't want to wait for 3 minutes let us refresh this see this is a test mail from lakshya arora these are the uh, sorry these are the old mails i think actually why we are receiving these mails because logic app is triggering in every 3 minutes so that's why we are receiving email is triggered how much time
is the test mail from Luxuroda. Logic app is running actually in every three minutes. C, yeah, X Y Z mail. I think I was looking in another email account by mistake. Mm, there was a confusion. Yeah, this is a recent subject which you remember. I changed the subject in Logic app designer. So this is the reply to my email. Okay guys, so yeah, this is how we can make use of logic apps and you can make use of different different uh, operations, actions in logic apps. You can make use of control. You can Azure DevOps is not working. I need to check why it's not working. You can make use of Bing maps. Bing maps like you can calculate the time taken um, to reach from one destination from one source to one destination. You can integrate SQL server and if you go to all built-in standard there are many connectors and the associated actions with that http you can integrate with azure functions also but azure function needs to be there since azure function is not there it is not showing so this is how you can integrate your logic apps and then define certain actions. So yeah, that's it guys. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching and bye bye. Take care.